Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah if you're new here and if you are new here, it'd be really awesome if you click the subscribe button, it's free and you get notified whenever I post videos. So today is super exciting because last night I got in my iPhone 6, no, just kidding, 7 plus. I was gonna do an unboxing on my vlog channel and I actually filmed one of me like opening the box. I'll insert that now. Okay, so here we go guys. First and, whoa. Hello. Did you turn it on while I was gone? Maybe. First pressures. This is huge. That is insane. I am so bummed out. But then I wanted to also do a what's on my iPhone 7 and I thought I would just uh, compare because my previous phone was the iPhone 6, not the 6S, not the 6S Plus, just the 6. Two years ago it came out and I just thought I would do some comparisons of the two phone and by no means a tech expert. This is just me being a teenage girl who loves her phone comparison. So I have the gold in both. This I got the 62 gigabytes or like 64 gigabytes. They didn't offer that. It was like 32 or the 128. And since I take a bunch of pictures and all my Instagram and stuff is all through my phone, I got the 128 gigabyte um, iPhone 7 Plus gold. Both are in gold. This is the size difference. It's just like the normal plus and the six. There's like white strips that go along the top and then there's a line along the bottom. On the newer phones, the white strips just go along the top and on around the sides. They're basically the same thickness. I don't know the exact scale, but from looking at it, they look about the same. The iPhone 6 Plus, honestly, like the screen is as big as this whole phone, which I love. And one of my favorite things, if you keep seeing this pop up, is when you just raise your phone, the, um, the screen comes up. So just like that. Also with the 6 Plus came a dual camera, which is super cool. I'll give you a close up on this. It looks like eyes. It's a bit creepy, but it's awesome. So the weirdest thing to me is not not even the headphone jack. Like, yeah, that's weird, but there's adapters and now I have double speakers, which I love because I love just blaring my music and I don't want to carry around extra speakers. So the fact that I get two times the sound is awesome. I'm going to put that to the test in a second. But um, not even the headphone jack is a weird thing to me, but it's the button. It's that it's not a button anymore. It's all touch vibrations, but it still makes the sound whenever you touch it. And when you were setting up the phone, it actually, I think this was so cool. It allowed you to choose the pressure that you wanted for your home button. It had like a one, two or three. I chose number two, the middle one, but it's how hard you have to press to like unlock your phone. So one thing I really like about the plus is that you can turn your phone sideways and look at that. Um, when you open up like your folders, you can turn it sideways too and it shows you both sides of the folder. I just think that's super cool. So that's the looks of the phone. This is the box it came in. Yes. So now I'm going to sort of go through my iPhone and show you what is on it. So I like it because I put in like the touch ID and the click and so my phone opens really easily. So now when I slide this way, it shows you the date and it shows you news and stuff, um, app suggestions. So my first row is just basic stuff. I have calendar, safari, phone, photos. Then I have my camera, which we are gonna test out right now the difference between the two cameras. I have live photos now, which I didn't have before. And it has a zoom. So that's the double zoom. It still looks amazing. And then that's like regular and you can still zoom like this too. And it goes even farther in. So there's me. And it's still sort of grainy, but it's a lot better than the normal zoom. So that's 10 times zoom. So I'm gonna take a picture like this with the live photos too. And now I'm gonna take a picture with my other camera, my six camera. The one with the new camera is so much brighter and the lighting is so much better. It's just super cool. Cool thing I noticed about the camera and I think the zoom is also amazing. So A plus for the camera. And that's one of the main reasons I also, I wanted this phone was for the camera. So then I have weather, which is basically the same clock, app store settings, iTunes store, I don't really use that. Pinterest, go follow my Pinterest. It's Hannah Ashton. It's actually Hannah Ashton too. I love my Pinterest. Um, Tumblr, I actually haven't been on Tumblr in so long, but if you wanna follow me, it's a Dancing Imagination. I have my Instagram, which I'm in love with right now. I have my fall theme working on. It's Miss Hannah Ashton, go follow me there. Then I have Snapchat. I'm signed into my personal Snapchat right now, but my public one is MS Interview 2 Twitter, love my Twitter. Um, it's MS Interbeauty 2 as well. And the premiere of New Girl Season 6 is on tonight and I am pretty pumped, hence the tweet. Amazing. Okay, so then I have the one folder I have on my homepage. It is my editing folder and I do not know, I do not use all these on one photo to edit. I mostly just use Visco Cam, which is just the typical, you know, filters, ta-da. 
I use it for filters and then I use Unum to plan out my theme and yeah, I have a video all on that. You can check it out. It'll be in the cards. Um, so, but other things I have in here is Pixlr. I use this instead of Facetune because it was free on my Facetune to whiten backgrounds. Again, I think that's in my Instagram editing um, video. I used, I used to use Square Ready for like a white background. I don't really use that anymore. Afterlight, I just have, it's just a free editor. Collage, if I want to collage. Photo Mirror does some cool things with editing. Like you can mirror a photo and put, I don't really use that though. Characters, I used to use this, don't really anymore. You just get like different characters for captions and stuff. So anyway, Boomerang, I do use uh, quite a bit. It's my new favorite thing. I can just take like a quick short video of this and it turns into like a GIF or a GIF, whatever you like to call it. So I think that's pretty cool. I use that a lot with friends. Then I have Publish. Publish um, sort of reminds you to post to Twitter or Instagram or you can publish now, publish at a scheduled time or publish at the best time that your followers are on. I don't really use this, I should, again. So yeah, you can tweet or put onto your Instagram. Um, this, I forget what it was, I don't know, I don't use that. Um, Instagrids, this is sort of cool. You can like split up, if you see like, if you go to someone's Instagram page and they have like rows of pictures and it all makes one big picture, you can do that easily. Um, so like each one of these individual squares is a picture and then when you go to your Instagram, you'll see a huge picture of donuts or whatever you'd like. So that's that folder. Then I have Time Hop. It's one of my favorite things. I'm a very sentimental person, so I really like Time Hop. This is my new phone, so I haven't, I'm not signed in yet, but it just shows you like pictures from that, from th this day, a few years ago, like, or whenever you set it up. Studio is really awesome because I'm not gonna get on it because it'll show like personal things, but it is, if you have a YouTube channel, make sure to get that because it shows you your analytics, comments, all of that, super easy. It's YouTube Studio. My Gmail right there. This is my She Reads Truth app. It's just what I use for my Bible study. Um, right now we're reading Hymns 3. And I did a video about it. My devotional video is all about this app and other apps. So that's what I have there. Then at the bottom, you can tell I'm a YouTuber because YouTube is one of my first apps. My mail, messages, and my Spotify. Then we go on to my second page. These are my less used apps. So I just have two folders with the random stuff. Games, guys, I don't play games at all, but these are the games that I have. My favorite is Two Dots if I'm bored, but I probably haven't played a game in like four months. Actually, no, Pokemon Go, I did that. I did play that and I still have it on my phone. Health, my run, my fitness pal. Tracking apps, your health app, and then white noise gives you like waves of the ocean and rain like when you're sleeping if I want that. Social, this is just a bunch of random social medias that I don't use ever. This is my TV folder. I have my Netflix, Hulu. ABC, Freeform, those are all where I watch my TV on my phone. Favbit is another thing for YouTubers. Vinted, um, this is super cool, so I sell like my clothes, my used clothes and accessories, dang it, I'm not logged in. But I will have my Vinted linked below, you can go shop my closet. Hannah Ashton, so this is my own app, guys. Um, cool stuff, I don't really go on here much because it just has all my vlogs and actual videos on here. You can see my Twitter. Um, I don't actually don't think this is in the app store anymore because I had to start paying and I was like, I can't pay that much a month just for this app. So I don't think it's in the app store anymore, but I keep it there because it's cool. Facebook Messenger, I use that sometimes. My Starbucks app is, oh, I love it. Oh, and guys, with the new iOS and the newer phones, you can go like this, hold down, and this is the best thing ever. So then I just have notes and reminders, which I do use. And then here I just have random stuff and I just keep this folder on this page so I can see whatever background photo I have on. I wanted to do one more thing. I wanted to play a song and we are gonna see how loud it gets. So I'm gonna play side to side on both phones and we're gonna see how loud this one is compared to this one. Cause that was another thing that I was really interested in. So we're gonna test it. This is about full. Okay. over here it is I think significantly louder yeah significantly louder I feel like which is awesome so guys that was it for what's on my iPhone 7 slash the new things that are on it and stuff tested I don't know this is basically just me playing around with my new phone and filming it for you guys hopefully you found it interesting much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye I'm so over the game and living for the weekend Let me out of this cage so we can stop breathing